Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you a report made late last year by T.W. Patterson in the Conwichan Valley Citizen. It was the retelling of an event that originally occurred in 1908, actually managing to make front page news in many outlets around the world. Entitled A Message from Mars on a Thursday Morning Like Any Other, Will McKinnon, the 14-year-old son of Mr. Angus McKinnon, underwent a most startling of experiences. While working with his father in their garden at about 11 o'clock, a meteorite would strike the ground just meters from where the lad was standing. Thinking a train was approaching, the boy and his father continued to work, not realizing that it was actually an approaching meteor burning through the atmosphere. Reported by many local residents who said the object shot through the sky towards the McKinnon residence. It shattered large tree branches on its estimated 40 degree approach with their garden, creating a large crater in the earth upon impact. Presumably sending young Will, his father, and a large amount of the earth hurtling through the air. When they eventually retrieved the object, the family discovered something truly remarkable about the meteorite. Whatever this object was, it appeared to be coded in form of hieroglyphics. Angus McKinnon tried for some time to interpret the meaning of the markings on the stone, presumably utterly perplexed by the event and the subsequent gift from the heavens, an object he could obviously personally confirm as authentic. Eventually admitting defeat, stating he would be glad if someone who has a knowledge of these things would try to help him out. A month later, it was reported that the Department of Mines and Geological Surveys in Ottawa was seeking, quote, further particulars in regards to the event. Angus apparently reported such detailed analysis was carried out on his property. Apparently the questions included an offer of purchase if terms could be arranged. These terms may have included the McKinnon family's agreement to speak of the matter no further, because whether in fact this meteor did make it to Ottawa is unknown. The story was not chased up any further. The suspected meteorite would disappear from public view.